If you want to get people to audition, get them to send in a video. They shouldn't have to put it on an app that opens them up to possible criticism and ridicule and at the same time gives you marketing. Hi friends, how are you? I hope you're very, very well. So I'm very echoey today because I'm actually in my new office and we don't have the carpet down yet. So it's very echoey, but we just painted this new mural and I love it. It's so cute. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about social media and TikTok auditions for musicals and are they really as great as they might first appear? First glance, it feels like a show giving people the opportunity to audition on social media or on TikTok when maybe they wouldn't ordinarily have access to an audition room or they've not got an agent or they haven't or they haven't been to drama school or one of even the big three drama schools. But is is it really as positive as you think or is there something maybe a bit more problematic around it and I wanted to have a look at it today. So on Monday the 29th of January it was announced that Dear Evan Hansen would be collaborating with TikTok to hold auditions through the app for the UK tour starting in September this year. So there were two videos posted on the Dear Evan Hansen page and the first one I saw was actually um, just like text on a screen basically saying do you want to be in Dear Evan Hansen, here's how you apply, just post a video of yourself singing, use the hashtag you will be found and then we'll go through and it closes on the 11th of February. There's no further information in like the comments or the caption or anything. So you see this video, you think, amazing. Let me get on YouTube. Let me get Clark on stage on. Let's sing a little duet. Let's go and be in Dear Evan Hansen. But that's not actually the case because in the second video I saw, this one was with Adam Penford, who is the director of the show. So in it, he says, if you want to be in with a chance of being invited to an in-person audition in London, then you post a video, use the hashtag, you will be found, and then you have to go to the website and submit through an online form where you then link to your video. So actually, as it says in the first video, if you just post a video, use the hashtag, and you'll be entered isn't actually the case. You'll only be considered once you formally submit through the website. And I think without making that very integral part of the audition process very, very clear, there is a potential for like hundreds if not thousands of people to submit videos and think that they have put in an application and actually they're just posting a video of themselves singing on TikTok and they won't actually be in with a chance. And if they're not actually in with a chance, they're basically just giving Dear Evan Hansen free marketing. It's common knowledge how grueling and draining an audition process is for an actor. So often, you know, you have to learn pages and pages of libretto, you have to learn new songs, learn choreography, take time off work, maybe book in with your singing teacher for an extra class. It costs money, it takes up time. Often you're not even given the opportunity to show the material that you learn for a show. And this whole thing, the fact that this doesn't even like surpass the first audition, the fact that you have to post it to social media using a very specific hashtag. It just feels like this is somewhat another way to exploit actors and aspiring performers for work and in providing free marketing and a buzz around this new production. And you know, in the video he's saying this is an opportunity to be invited to an audition in person where you'll then be against all of the professionals anyway. I mean, basically you're auditioning for an audition and that's kind of putting you on a bit of a back step against everyone else that you might be up against the role for anyway. You know, somebody else has just walked into a room but you've already had to do a video on social media and you're then just starting at the same point as a professional anyway. I mean, listen, this could be an amazing opportunity for somebody who wouldn't ordinarily get into the room and people who don't have agents or people who don't have professional experience. But I've literally seen people in my TikTok feed who have got agents who are working professionals who are still submitting this way as well. So this kind of reminds me actually, Dear Evan Hansen did an open call in 2019 for the West End production and like over, I think 3,000 people turned up and they were able to see maybe the first 400, I think. And even those 400 people who got seen, a lot of them were professionals in the industry and the majority of them only got to sing like 16 bars. And I know so many people who went and everybody who went said it was like, 
pure chaos and just like a terrible day. But at the same time, like thousands of people turning up, it got it in the paper and it got a buzz around it and it showed that Dear Evan Hansen was in demand and people in London were interested in Dear Evan Hansen. It was great marketing. So Spotlight in the UK is an online database of auditions and all other things for professional actors. And the auditions for this tour have already been posted on Spotlight and the deadline's already passed. So either those auditions have already been scheduled or they've already happened, but they are seeing professional people as well. So it is likely that this is more of a market employ than an opportunity to actually see new people before anybody else. And I think from that open call, in the original cast of, I think something like 10 people, only one person came from an open call and he was an alternate for the show. He wasn't in the kind of lead opening cast as well. Everybody else had been to drama school, had an agent, had worked previously professionally, one or the other. So I decided to take a look through the terms and conditions on the website around the application. And one says, the ambassador theatre group reserves the right to cancel or alter the scheme at any stage. Super promising. Another says, the Ambassador Theatre Group reserves the right to amend these terms and conditions at any stage, including changing or substituting the selection process and the development opportunities. So it's basically saying, if you apply, we might just scrap it all together anyway, we might not even do this whole thing. You might film the video and then we decide, meh, let's not audition anybody. Or they might just never talk about it again. I think it's really interesting in the terms and conditions that they're very vague about the submission process and the way that it will kind of all be followed up with. I guess that kind of covers themselves. If you keep it vague then they can be vague in their responses and they can be vague in the process that they're doing this through. I mean you have to be so careful with anything online. It's like you think about like Instagram giveaways or something. There, there's so many specific rules you have to follow legally and this is like so vague it also says the ambassador theatre group reserves the right to reshare any content submitted to the hashtag you will be found search through the dear of Hansen channels i actually saw somebody in the comments be like oh i bet they're going to use these videos for you know in the show and you will be found they're like i bet they're going to use it in that bit and to be honest i don't think that will happen but i do think that they will absolutely tan the socials with just so many videos of people who have auditioned and again to use somebody's audition as marketing feels really icky, especially when they've not got the part. There will be people who are not going to be in the show who will be used time and time again in the marketing for this show. It's just inevitable. As I say though, in the end it might be amazing. They might cast the entire thing through TikTok and unknown people who've not worked professionally before, not been to drama school, whatever, will get the parts and it'll be amazing. I do really like that they have included the adult roles in the show because so often it's just for like the teen roles. And the fact that they've included like Larry, Cynthia and, oh my God, what's her name? Oh my God, what's her name? Evan's mom. I think that's great. I can't lie, I do have concerns though. Like, posting yourself on the internet is such an exposing thing. Trust me, I know. And performing is such a personal thing. You know, when you don't do well or somebody doesn't like your performance or something, it hurts so much. To put yourself out on TikTok, you're opening yourself up to criticism. You're basically giving people a direct link to tell you that they don't like you or they don't like something you did or whatever. And it kind of, in a way, becomes a popularity contest as well. I know that they're generally submitted through the form but it, this will become a popularity contest the people with bigger accounts or the best looking people or whatever will gain attention I feel so sad and I fear for the people who have posted a video and don't know that you also have to fill out the form I feel for anybody who's put themselves out there and might possibly be ridiculed by some faceless TikTok user who's playing casting director in their bedroom. I've seen people saying, oh, I want to audition, I want to submit, but my friends will laugh at me. And it's embarrassing to have to put it online. Yeah, it's like, it shouldn't be a part of a marketing ploy to get people to audition. If you want to get people to audition, get them to send in a video. They shouldn't have to put it on an app that opens them up to possible criticism and ridicule and at the same time gives you marketing. Yeah, I mean, for sure, there will be amazing people in the comments as well and there will be people 
hyping everyone up and being wonderful and lovely. I've loved looking through some of the videos that I've already seen. I don't know, I just feel like this opens up an already anxiety inducing, stressful experience of auditioning to possibly even more heartbreak and then also having it happen publicly. You know, you'll have people who do great and people on TikTok love them, but then they might go to the audition and it doesn't go well and then you've got possibly hundreds of people in the comments like, how did it go? Are you gonna be in the show? You should be in the show. And then you feel guilt, you feel upset because you haven't got the role. And then also all these people think that you should, but you're like, oh, well, I mustn't be as good as they think I am, or I mustn't be as good as I thought I was, or whatever. Like all this stuff plays into your brain when you're an actor. Also at the point of filming this, the video hadn't even been up for 24 hours. And I've already seen people doing parody TikToks of people auditioning in for this already like making fun of people audition in this way and I don't know if the intention is to make fun of the process or whatever but seeing people make fun of people auditioning and trying to pursue their dreams in such a public way is no. When I went on the hashtag earlier, the fourth video I saw, the fourth one, was somebody making fun of the people who've applied. And it was like my totally serious audition. And it was, I mean, to be honest, it was like, not bad, you know? And then somebody else in the comments was like, is this real? And he's saying, obviously not. I think that you would know me better than to put myself out there like this in such an embarrassing way or something like that. And I'm like, really? I actually think TikTok is a pretty amazing app in a lot of ways. I think it's done some amazing things for people. The opportunities it's given people and what it's even done for the growth of musicals, the growth of musical theatre fans and just in general, I think it's pretty great. But I also think it's a really toxic place and people go on there just to be needlessly cruel, just for the sake of it. And I just really hope that this doesn't go that way for people. I hope that it stays really nice. What I've seen, the majority other than the parody videos, have been really nice. I hope so much that this goes well and we get a cast of people who wouldn't have ordinarily been in the audition room. It is a shame that so often with talent show auditions or social media auditions, things like this, the roles tend to go to professionals in the end anyway. And like, I'm not angry about this, this competition or whatever, like, but I do feel for people who are putting themselves out there in such a public way at their own expense, possibly. I think it's a shame that actors are being used as marketing and PR and I am glad that they're doing this instead of another open call though because making people trek to London and sit in there for like eight hours in the cold to not even be seen is horrendous. So at least they're doing this instead. I don't know though, what do you think? Will you be submitting? Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's all a marketing ploy or do you think it's very genuine and they just want to see people? I would be interested to know what you think. Yeah. If you are submitting good luck, just look after your heart and your self. If you're posting stuff out there on the internet because it is not a nice place sometimes. I know. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.